Ukrainian mother breastfeeding her tiny baby in hospital has become a new symbol of defiance in Ukraine after she was seriously injured shielding her daughter from a Russian missile attack. The 27-year-old, named only as Olga, was left with cuts and bruises all over her face and body after glass from a huge missile attack sent broken glass flying through her home in Kyiv. Incredibly, she had only just picked up her six-week-old daughter and covered her with a blanket to feed her when the blast shook the building in the middle of the night. Her protective embrace likely saved the infant's life. Now the mother and daughter are recovering in hospital. Tender images of the youngster feeding have been widely shared in Ukraine where Olga's actions have been seized upon as an example of the country's defiance in the face of Putin's invasion. Olga recalled the shock as she saw blood covering her child after the blast shattered glass across the room. I was wounded in the head, and blood started flowing. And it all flowed on the baby, said Olga, sitting on a bed at the Okamadity Children's Hospital where she was being treated. I couldn't understand, I thought it was her blood. Photographs of Olga, her head bandaged and her upper body covered in cuts as she holds her baby, Victoria, have featured widely on social media, in an image encapsulating the heavy toll being paid by civilians in Russia's invasion of Ukraine. As Victoria's father Dimitro took the girl, Olga said she began screaming that her daughter had been cut. Olga, it's your blood, it's not hers, she recalls Dimitro responding. Ukrainian authorities say at least 60 civilians have been killed in Kyiv since Russia launched what it calls a special military operation on February 24, several in missile strikes on residential buildings. Olga, who did not share her family name, said she had woken up to feed the six-week-old baby and had already covered her with a blanket to keep her warm when the missile strike occurred. And that's what kept the baby alive. I just got her covered in time. And then Dimitro jumped up and covered us, too. Olga is being treated for multiple cuts to the head and body but the baby was unharmed apart from a scratch and some bruises. There's nothing left for us to do but to stay positive. Just to believe that it was the worst, the most horrible thing that could have happened in our lives, Dimitro, who was woken by the sound of shattering glass, added. Reporting by Olga Vishnevska and Nastasa Bansagi, writing by James McKenzie, editing by Alexander Smith.